Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, my subscribers on YouTube, peeps on Facebook, everybody at the Revolution. This is the D.O.U.G. Hill once again, and this time it's time for my review of tables, ladders, and chairs, and for some reason, fucking stairs. Oh my! Of course, the pay-per-view was this past weekend in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Browns, the Miz, Dolph Ziggler, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And one of those... And one of those things does not belong. And if you guessed the Cleveland Browns, you'd be correct because they sucked that night day. They didn't get no points. Now, of course, TLC, like I said, was this past Sunday. I watched it with my family and friends, you know, and so it took me a while to, to review it, but shit happens. It was on December 14th. So here we go. Let's start with the pre-show match. Um, by the way, we'll, I'll be playing the Royal Rumble while we do this. Because Royal Rumble is my favorite match. Now, the first match we're going to talk about is the New Day. Big E and Kofi with Xavier Woods took on Cody and Stardust. Now, this match was okay for a pre-show match. But, really not something I would be going ooh ga ga goo about. So it could have been better, yes. Was it? Yeah, I actually thought the wall match was better, but it is what it is. You know, what can you do about it, right? So it is what it is. It is upsetting, but me, I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. Yeah, sorry, it's taking me so long to figure out who the fuck I want to pick. There we go. Wait, bad. Um, so yeah, it wasn't a bad match per se, but it wasn't great. So pre-show match it was okay. Of course, New Day, uh, Biggie, and Kofi got the one with the finishing move that they do. Um, I recommend skip it. It is probably the worst pre-show match of the year. Of course, the best pre-show match, in my opinion, was WLC from earlier this year. So New Day versus. Golden Stardust get about a 2 out of 5. But again, it's a pre-show match. I'm not going to care. Next, for the Intercontinental Championship, it was Dolph Ziggler facing Luke Harper. And this was a violent ladder match for the IC title. Um, and a good one, though, at that, though. It was very good. Um, not going to say it, you know, and it was very violent. Um, a lot of back and forth action. Luke Harper looks good, and you know he did lose, by the way, spoiler warning, Ziggler won the match, or he is once again in a Continental Champion, but, and there's nothing wrong with that, uh, very good violent match, um, both of them did leave with some bruises, I know Luke Harper had to get some staples and stitches put in, I know Ziggler's back was all fucked up, but it was a violent good match and a good opening match. Four out of five, definitely recommend that match. There's one other match I recommend from this pay-per-view, which we'll get to later. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Adam Neville, do do do. Next match, the Usos versus the Miz and Miz Dow for the tag team titles. This match was okay for what it was worth. Um, I think a lot of people upset that Miz and Miz Dow lost the match. I mean, it was by disqualification, so they kept the belts. There's an old saying, you don't, the champion doesn't have to beat you, you have to beat the champion. That's what this means. Champion advantage always works, and it worked here. Um, so congratulations to Miz and Miz Dow keeping the belts. I know a lot of people were upset by that, but it is what it is. Um, three out of five, it was a good back and forth match. Yeah, the ending was kind of upsetting, but again, they were the heels. And I think we know they were gonna they were gonna play the storyline out for a while. So, and I actually like the storyline. A lot of people don't, but I do. So the tag team title match gets a three out of five, and that's me being probably generous. Up next, Big Show versus Eric Roman still steps match. Oh, steel steps. Who in the fuck thought the steel stairs match was a good idea? It had to be either a the same idiot who thought. Fucking shock master was a good idea. Or B, one who thought, hmm, let's let Disco and Thunder join the NWO. This match was bad, and I mean bad. 
I actually didn't almost I was making jokes doing this match and how Hogan vs. Warrior looks like a, Capo a Capasso painting. How David Arquette winning the WCW title is like listening to Mozart compared to this. Um, so yeah, I didn't like the match if you could figure that out. Um, so I gave it a 2 out of 5 and if because there was another match on here that was far fucking worse. Big Show and Al Coleman, I hope to God this is the only time we see a Steel Stairs match. I mean, they did use the Steel Stairs, which hey, that's great. But it didn't, problem is, it sucked, it blew, it was very slow and boring, I don't mind that, but it was boring, and Big Show only won because he set the stairs on Eric Roman, and then got the pin. Yeah, thank you for whipping off Rock, somewhat of Rock versus Mankind. Congratulations, you idiots. Two out of five. Next, the tables match. Now, of course, if Cena lost, he would have lost his number one contendership, but as we know, he did not. Cena did defeat Seth Rollins. And I successfully predicted this on Revolution, Lux holding Cena winning put, that Roman Reigns would be making his return at the pay-per-view. I called that shit on my, I called that shit on my show, on Revolution's Honor, and I was correct. I knew that was going to happen. I give the tables match a three out of five. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great, and I think it being Roman Reigns coming out was predict way too predictable. If it would have been Randy Orton or somebody from NXT, that would have been amazing. Hell, if it was Bad News Bad who caused, would have came in and interfered, that would have been great. But no, it was Roman Reigns. And then Roman Reigns fucked up the promo. He was supposed to do that, saying he was entering the Rumble. So overall, uh, John Cena vs. Seth White had good action, a lot of false endings. Still 3 out of 5 just because predictable winner, predictable person came back. I, I don't mind predictability sometimes, but in this case, I, I had a problem with it. But it is what it is. And there's actually not even the main event, and it was the lo second longest match on the card. Next, Nikki with Bree versus AJ Lee for the Divas title. Now, first off, this was way fucking better than the, the last month's Divas match between them. So that's a fucking positive, ladies and gentlemen. That is a positive. Right there. And hello, Ms. Dow. Uh, now, Nikki would, of course, win the match thanks to the uh, hairspray and the ice to AJ. Which, I, if that's how they're writing AJ off, because it was been reported that AJ, this was her last pay-per-view, last day in the company. Rumor there. And you know, you know how rumors are. They're like assholes. And opinions. Everybody's got one. If this was AJ's last match, at least she got the... At least she got to go out with at least the fans seen her in a match, unlike Punk, who we will always remember for him walking out after the Rumble, unfortunately. But AJ at least got to leave with losing uh, to Spain in the eyes, which is something that Rick the Modern Montel used to do. And I love the fact that the TNA fans were saying, oh, Nikki Bella left, uh, ripped off uh, the beautiful people. Well, beautiful people ripped off the Rick the Modern Montel, so yeah. Suck it. <laughs> um... Well, it was not a bad match, better than what it was. It, it was okay at best. I, but I'm going to be, I'm probably being generous here. I'm giving it a 2.5 out of 5. You know, it was okay for what it was. Kind of a predictable winner there. Um, so, yeah. 2.5 out of 5. That's me being generous. Granny, you got, I'm going to say this. The two Divas matches. Well, the Divas match was better than two other matches on here. That's fucking hilarious to me. Next. Oh no, boy, the match I've been dreading. And hello, Ziggler. Ryback versus Kane on a stairs match. What jackass thought, hey, let's put these two assholes together. And I love Kane, don't get me wrong. I love the big red machine, Kane. However, this match, Blue Dog, it, it was so bad I wanted to watch Hogan versus Warrior from Halloween Havoc. The problem is, Right back, uh, this pretty, Kane was on offense pretty much the majority of the match, and then right back just wins out of fucking nowhere. Really? Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Bye, Ms. Dow. Yeah, I didn't like the match. I thought it was pathetic. Probably the worst match of the year, in my humble opinion. And that's not even, hell, I'm sorry, Bound for Glory's pay-per-view had better match, was better cards than compared to this match. Um, so yeah. You can tell I did not like it. Ryback versus Kane gets a negative one out of five. Okay, negative one out of five for Ryback versus Kane. And I hope to God we never have to see that match ever again. If I ever have to see that again, I'm going to... I'd rather watch... Okay, here's what I'd rather see before I watch Ryback versus Kane again. 
The Oakland Raiders. I'd rather play Shaq Fu for five hours. I'd rather see my... I would rather see two cows have sex before Ryback versus Kane. That's how bad Ryback versus Kane was. Negative one out of five. Moving on to the U.S. title match. Rusev versus Jack Swagger. Now this match, we've seen this a few times this year. It was a little better than the other meetings, but not by much. Rusev is still U.S. champion, who looks like now he's going to be feuding with Ryback. God help us all. Ah, uh, you know what? Though? I'm going to be generous to the U.S. title match. Simply because of the fact that if it followed right back versus Kane, which was, old, which I'm sorry, Rusev and Swag was already better because there was no, no right back. Right back was not involved. Uh, Rusev versus Swag, it gets about a, I gave it a three. Not bad, but not great. So not even remember a match for a U.S. title, which is unfortunate because it was, back in the day, U.S. title used to mean something, but not anymore. And I say that as the guy who remember the U.S. title in the NWA. Um... Now, last match, the TLC main event. Bray Wyatt versus Ooh, Dean Ambrose. See, I thought he was going to say Luke Hopper, didn't he? Uh, this was the main event, which caught a lot of people off guard. A lot of people thought it was going to be Cena and Seth. I thought that was going to be the main event as well. But, hey, maybe WWE realized if they did that and Bray was... Everybody would have left after the Bray and Dean match, which probably would have happened. So... Yeah, that was the main event, and boy was this one. This was a violent match. Both matches that had a ladder were the most violent of the card. Um, very violent, broken tables. Broken, the Spanish announce table did not survive the night, which is always a good thing when that doesn't make it. Now, why it was violent, the ending kind of confused people. You know, the TV blew up, okay? So maybe the shock match that had something to do with this. Now, nah, now, nah, actuality, I think the TV blew up because, remember, they kind of have Bray Wyatt kind of like The Undertaker. He did, you know, he's that, he's from the swamps, voodoo, that woo crap, as I like to call it. Um, but yeah, the ending kind of made no sense with the TV blowing up, but at the same token, if they play it as, you know, Bray Wyatt's supernatural powers or whatever, because we that, that's what his character feels like to me. He's the he, he's the redneck Undertaker, and I've said that a few times. Bye, Tyson kid. Man, nice knowing you. We um see so ya. Yeah. Well, the ending kind of left me head scratching. The match was actually damn good, and it was the and it's the only match, second match on the card I give a four out of five to, just because of the fact it was that it was that good. Granted. You know, it had two good workers. You know, two people actually gave a fuck. Unlike Ryback. Now, I want to make a point very clear here on this. Only two of the matches, if you notice, get four, four out of five. The Intercontinental title match and the main event. Everything else got below either a three or, in the case of Ryback versus Kane, a one. Negative one out of five, I should say. Bye, Ziggler. Now, I say that for this reason. This is probably, without a shadow of a doubt, TLC, the worst pay-per-view WWE's done this year. And I, yes, TLC was the worst pay-per-view. While it had two great matches, the rest of the card was forgettable at best. Now, this ain't the worst pay-per-view of the year that still goes to Bound for Glory, but still, this is definitely second place. Second worst pay-per-view I've seen this year. And the worst one for WWE. So TLC, WWE. You know it had two great matches that I recommend watching. The Intercontinental title match and the TLC match, which was the main event. The rest of the card, you're better off skipping and not even paying attention to. WWE TLC gets a 2.5 out of 5. Worst pay-per-view of the year. I definitely recommend not watching it. Just wa just watch just watch the two good matches, okay? And what's sad is that's how T that's how WWE ends the pay per view. Now, of course, with NXT on the other hand, that was a great pay per view that they did on the network NXT. Sami Zayn, NXT champion. You know, we saw a lot of good stuff in the NXT. So if you want to watch a good WWE pay per view this month, go watch the NXT pay per view. That you will enjoy immensely. TLC, 
No, stay away. Um, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What did you guys think of the WWE TLC pay-per-view and all that? Now, of course, as you can see, I am playing WWE on 2K15. That's obvious. Uh, the uh, WCW pack came out today, but guess what? It's not a part of the season pass, which pisses me off. I do get to play as Paige, though, so yay, Paige, yay! And now we're going to stick to, now we're going to talk about Raw a bit, since that was this week, you know, talk about that. Raw happened, and Raw was actually better than the TLC pay-per-view. Granted, that's not saying much. You know, anything would have been better than the TLC. Hell, the fuck, the Saints and Bears game was better than TLC. Uh, Raw was actually better than TLC. Of course, Brock Lesnar came back, which... We kind of put that that doesn't surprise anybody same token it because we're getting near the rumble They're setting shit up for the rumble. So yeah, that doesn't surprise me that happened He's in big trouble. You know so it is what it is Roman on that Reigns, note um, Now of course it was nice that Jericho put him over Jericho doing the right thing Granted because we know Jericho's not going to be seen as much either uh, but it was nice to see and something that did not that I did not kind of predict uh, Seth Rollins is now with um, Paul Heyman it looks like a bit or at least they have a mutual understanding with one another you know at least that's how I presume it to be mutual understanding I'm sure a lot of people are looking that word up right now now what does that mean maybe if Cena does one at the Rumble Seth cashes in we shall see And goodbye, Luke. But Luke didn't last long. So yeah, of course, Seth did defeat Cena in a cage. And you know, that's one thing that bothers me. Everyone is bitching out Seth hasn't won a match on his own. I hate to tell you this, that's a heel's job. The heels, they're supposed to cheat to win. Look it up. Hey, look, it's L.C. Benedico. No, wait, that's a bunch of Dario. Now, you know, this has not been WWE's greatest year. You know, a lot of things have gone, uh, a lot of things have went weird for them this year. You know, hopefully 2015 is going to be better. Hopefully. But other than that, you know, that's been my review. I hope you guys did enjoy the review of TLC and all that. But let's, let, let's just look about the Rumble now. Let's just... Talk about what's coming up at the Rumble. Um, of course, the Royal Rumble is next month, and we already know that Roman Reigns is in the Rumble. Now, a lot of people do have Roman Reigns running, but get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get out of here, Roman. Um, come on, grab. Okay, they won't let me help him. Goodbye, Cody. Um, You know, everybody's predicting Roman's going to win. I think if Roman Reigns wins the Rumble, that would be a bad move. Because, he does it again. Oh my gosh. you know, he would either face Cena or Lesnar unless Seth does a cash-in. If it's Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at the uh, WrestleMania, that's going to be the worst main event in WrestleMania history. More worse, worse than fucking Warrior and Hogan. All right, just because of the fact of Roman Reigns to me, I, I, I'm honest, I don't like Roman Reigns. I never have. But Roman Reigns doesn't even look like he's ready to be a main event star yet. Not even close. If it's Cena versus Roman Reigns, well, the problem there is you got two guys who, you got one guy who most people can't stand. You got one person that people love, but knowing if he went against Cena, no one would predict him to win. It's like, what the fuck? You know, so I don't know what, if, if, now granted WWE could shock us all and maybe make, you know, um, maybe let somebody else be the Rumble winner, which would be nice. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah. Of course, don't forget here on the Revolution Network, if you're watching it, if you're watching this on Revolution, or not. If you're not watching this through the Revolution group. Don't forget we have shows on there besides Revolution's Honor. Tomorrow we do have uh, my boy Rob Goslin and Bernadette doing the um, shoot from the hip. I don't know. Who, I can't remember who they have tomorrow as a guest. 
but it's just pretty much it is it's a you get to talk to a lot you know it's a Q and A thing and they interview indie wrestlers you know of course my show Revolution's Honor this week we're going to be doing um, the awards for WWE TNA and Ring of Honor and of course Mondays we usually have an after show for all well, don't forget Tuesdays we do have face off. When T Son Jones can decide to actually show up and not pull Brock Lesnar. And I would love to know what you guys think on this. You know, what do you think wrestling's gonna be most is gonna be in a bad position in twenty fifteen because you know you have Ring of Honor who's on a network that most people can't get. A lot of people are bitching about WWE right now to the point it's funny. Um, you have Lucha Underground, which is doing well, but it's on a network that most people don't get. And if you do get, you have to pay extra money for it. Thanks. I found that out last week. And if you're a TNA fan, you know, that's on Destination America, which again, most people have to pay for that channel. You know, so it's... Pretty much, if not, you pretty much a lot of people are going to be watching wrestling on the YouTube. You know, so yeah, and don't get me wrong, I love T I like TNA. TNA does have two people I like. You know, and that was another thing. This pretty much became a TLC and talk about wrestling in a nutshell, folks. <laughs> um, it was announced that, T that TNA would not have blood anymore on their television due to the fact of the contract thing with uh, Destination America. Which does not surprise me. Anybody who thought they were still going to be able to keep blood is a fucking moron. In my humble opinion. Yeah, Kofi's going out. New Day's not going to have a good day. Goodbye, New Day. Oh, here comes Bray Wyatt. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't surprise me. And apparently now Josh Matthews is now going to be on the announcing team for TNA. Um, Mike Tanay is now going to be doing the Saturday shows, which is supposed to be some kind of recap or something along those lines. I don't know why you would want to replace Mike Tanay. I don't know why. Again, it's just me. Now, maybe it's just because I don't see the point. But hey, whatever. Goodbye, Swagger. No, we the people today. Well, that's not how Jack Swagger grew it up. I can assure you that. Yeah, RVD's trying to eliminate Goldust. That's not going to work, you dummy. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much been the wrestling talk for the day. So, let's just enjoy the Rumble. And then we can all go home and have cake. Because cake is good for the blood. So I've been told. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The winner of this guaranteed a title opportunity. He's got him. Drop kick. That's it. Uh -oh, RVD just got eliminated. I think Bray Wyatt may be next. Yep, there goes Bray. Bray Wyatt's been eliminated. Good. Get him out of here. He freaks me out. Now that's kind of funny. Go ahead. We lose uh, the we lose the Swamp Man and we lose the High Man. As it was. You can see the results from that move. Boom. Look at Wade Barrett here. Next entrance, getting ready to come out. It's the Miz. I need more energy. Come on, Wade. Get up. Get up and hear yourself. Oh, you fucking asshole. has got some bad intentions here. The Miz has him. Nobody's gonna be eliminated next because Miz fucked up. Oh, no. oh. Don't let him. 
spedazzle the tire for you. Goldust has all types of ways to get the upper hand on an opponent. Goldust is as tough as nails and can slug it out with anyone. But he can also creep into an opponent's psyche and completely take them off their game plan. It's Sting. The it's the Vigilante Sting. He's gonna, he's gonna screw over Seth Rollins when he gets in here. Hey, right, now he's tacking. Hey, look, it's the old WCW feud. Wee! Goodbye, Miz. Miz is out of here. The Miz has been eliminated. Kick it to the curb, Miz. Get ready. Another superstar is about to head out. Eric Rowan barreling to the ring. Oh, no. It's the goat herder. Come from this, Cole. Look at Wade Barrett here. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Get off of me, Regal, my he's fellow countrymen. Hey, Roman, what the hell, you this dumbass? Scary. What the hell? Hey, Roman, trying to fuck me over. Hanging out again. Ah. Thank you, Regal. <laughs> Leave me alone, William Moogle. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight you, right? Oh, God damn it! What the fuck's going on here? It's like, fuck, man. Everybody's, everybody's trying to eliminate Wade Barrett. Now the ring is packed, so that's wonderful. Apparently not eliminate anyone because I'm an idiot. Oh man, he's all wrapped up there in the ropes, just trying to hold on. Goodbye, Regal. Regal's been eliminated. Oh, oh that's devastating. Oh wow. Reversal. And now it is show off. I'm floating here. Great reversal. That's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. What's Mark Henry going to do? He's the guy that's opponent. What's he going for here? And now trying to figure out how to hoist this man over the top rope. No, I'm not leaving the ring yet, bitch. Oh. Eric Rowan softened up here. I am seriously, I think Wade Barrett's gonna die. Wade Barrett's getting his ass kicked. Here comes 24 and entering the Who's gonna be the next one eliminated? It might even be me pretty soon. It's the Undertaker. Gold dust is out. Gold dust is out. And there goes Mark Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way you will see Sting versus Undertaker. Could we be on the verge of an elimination? Well, Glitchomania, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, it's over the top rope. Both You're not eliminating me. Nope. <laughs> I'm still in here, bitch. He's still in this one. Oof, I'm dead, but I'm still in here. He might have dodged his last bullet. Look out. He's setting him up here. Oh, Wade God. Barrett is tired. He is going to die. <laughs> he is literally on death's door. This is hilarious. 
Oh my god, that's when Randy Orton's coming back. He's gonna come back at the Rumble and screw Seth Rollins. Come on, Wade. Come on. Let's go. Let's go coast to coast. Nope. <laughs> I'm still in here, Taker. You cannot eliminate. You cannot eliminate the future. Oh God. Duh. You can eliminate. You cannot eliminate Wade Barrett. Sting's gone. Oh God! It's he's gonna tear. Kevin Nash is gonna tear his quad before he gets in the ring. That's what's gonna happen. Orton trapped him. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Bad News Barrett. Hey now! Oh man! Uh no! Ah uh, crap! Thank goodness I'm good at pushing buttons. And he's still up, this. down, up, down. Don't, don't get eliminated. And maybe this will be it. Oh, there it is. Who's going to enter next? Here comes Titus it's Titus O'Neil. Ah, he got a late number. He got lucky number 27. Will he be able to win the Rumble? Probably not. Well, looks like we're going to eliminate Randy Orton. Yes, this is what's going to happen, folks. This is how Randy Orton's going to get eliminated from the Rumble. Goodbye, Orton. That changes the complexion of this match completely. Who's coming out next? Looking to get an elimination. It's Cesaro. 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 He's out of it. He's in big trouble. Kevin Nash better shake out. Ah, I'm trying, Wade Barrett's trying this, uh, I think this is the farthest I've ever gotten on this. With one character. Look how tired fucking Wade Barrett is, good lord. And he's still going at it because he's a machine, and fuck you Kevin Nash. Undertaker, you get the fuck away from me. Uh, ow. <laughs> Come on, Wade. Get up, Wade. You can win the Rumble. Yeah, by the way, if you're just watching now, TLC was not a good pay for you. Come on, Wade. Get up. Get up. <laughs> what the fuck? Kevin Nash kicked me. You asshole. Oh. I I'm on my second wind. Maybe my fourth wins it as long as he's been in here and Take us gone. Take us gone. Titus O'Neill may have been a standout defensive end playing football, but he knows all about drilling opponents. He's still in this one. <laughs> Wait, Pitt's going crazy, folks. Look out. A lot from the looks of it. Ah, no, 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 I don't want to be eliminated. Wait, Bat wants to go coast to coast. Michael, you piece fought out of it. Oh, this man, not stop. You know, Adam Neville, I'm trying to help you here. Just 
It's right back. There goes Kevin Nash. That's all for Kevin Nash tonight. Wow. Big sexy has been taken out. And down he goes. Great. You know what's sad? Probably everyone watching this right now is like, as long as it's not right back. I fear you on that one, people. Good box. <laughs> of course, I wanted to smack right back, but no, instead, it makes me suck Cesaro. You fucking assholes. Get on out of here. Right back, get the fuck out of here. clear that he's the real deal. Titus is a beast in the ring whose power and size dominates opponents. One of the most impressive things about Titus is his speed. I can hear the impact from... Oh, look out! Oh, now we're down to three. Either Cesaro. <laughs> Titus O'Neil, Wade Barrett will main event WrestleMania. And Suplex. He got it. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Oh, look at this. Titus O'Neil, he seems helpless. You know what? If you want to eliminate Titus O'Neil, you go right ahead and do it. Oh, look at this. Playing my games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. Oh, look at the emotion. I was going to stand here and build up my finisher. Winds of change. And what a knee. Well, he always talks about making moves. Right now, Titus O'Neill is moving back to the locker room. Yes, it's his own Wade Barrett, the two finalists. Uh oh. And Irish Whip. And Wade Barrett wins the Rumble. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been my video of the WWE TLC pay-per-view review of 2014. And, of course, some other things added on into it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Here's Please remember winner. to leave a like and, a, and remember family. to subscribe. And until next Wait. time. This is the DOUG sign off saying have a good day. And I'll see you next time, folks. Woo!